I tried to find my way out of here I don't know where I'm going but I keep my head up You know what I'm saying? Look at him, just post it, just post it right there What's going on guys? My name is Algie Smith, actor, musician, singer, all of the above and this right here is my boy Boss, this is my dog. Boss is a French bulldog and he is three years old. <laughs> when he was uh, given to me, I was informed that he was a full blood Frenchie. But as he started to grow in weight, I quickly started to um, assume that I was lied to. And I think there's a mix of something else in here. But he's my boy regardless and we're gonna stick with the Frenchie story. He's a Frenchie, so don't, don't say he's not. Boss came into my life in 2019 when I just really wanted a companion. When I saw him, I couldn't wait and I just got it. And it was at the same time that I, uh, I started shooting Euphoria as well, so. I had Boss on set all the time. Everybody knew who he was on set. They were pampering him on set. He's like, he's the boss. My favorite quality that Boss has is probably his clinginess. Even though sometimes it's like, ah, uh, you're being very emotional. I love it though. It's like, that's why you have a dog. You know, that's why you have it. <laughs> okay, so Boss was maybe 12 weeks old, right? And I took him to Zendaya's house for a party, a Euphoria, like a little get together cast party. And she had a swimming pool back there. So we were vibing, you know what I'm saying? Eating. Boss is just running around with Zendaya's dog. All of a sudden we just hear like a thunk. Zendaya looks back and she's like, oh my God, oh my God. And Boss is sinking in the pool. And Zendaya died in the pool. She helped the dog. She brought him back out. She really saved Boss's life. So he really has her to thank for that. But that was a crazy story. And I know I seem like a bad pet parent because I wasn't watching my dog, but we have the story to tell, so. Yo, what's up? I'm Algie Smith. And this is Cute or Fail. Aw, it's the little wiener looking dog, man. He just spotted in his bag trying to. It's gonna be a cute video. I think it's gonna be cute. Let's see. Oh, it's a cute video! Yeah, it's a cute video. Aw, oh, now I feel bad for the dog because it. Man, but he's still trying to play. He's active. I'm gonna say cute, man, just because I got empathy for the dog. He's going through some stuff right now. Let's see. It's a cute video, man. He. he he going through stuff and he's still trying to play. All right. Oh, this is going to be a fail. I can already tell. The dog, he, nah, -uh. he's trying to get something, but he's facing nose down and he's behind a couch. Nah, it's going to be a fail. We're going to see. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's a fail. He, done fa he fell on his nose. <laughs> Don't do that. Yo, so welcome back. And now we're in the segment of the show where we're doing a house tour. So I wanna bring you through the kitchen and just show you a couple things and let you see how Boss gets down. Right here we have Boss's bowl, which we don't wanna look at it right now because it's very empty and his crud is all over the place. But this is the cool part. I wanna show you something. This right here is completely dedicated to Boss. He has his own cabinet of treats. That's how spoiled he is. That he's got like little bacon treats. He got little beef jerky. He lives a good life. You know, he lives the boss life. You want one? I think his favorite one is this one. Oh. There's a very special picture in this house that I had to just put up in a very special place so that I can see it every day because it warms my heart. This picture of my boy. Look like he's going to school. Look at him with his little harness on. He was so excited. So now we've made it to what I think is one of, one of boss's favorite rooms in the house. This is the theater, Smith Cinemas. And so we chill in here and he'll sit right here and he'll watch a movie with me and he'll fall asleep. And you see his bed over there? But this is for sure one of his favorite rooms. I think he loves watching movies. I think he's a movie buff just like his dad. Come on, come on. So right now, we, we're in the game room right now. This is where I come and relax my mind most of the time and just chill out and play some games. When I'm in here, Boss loves to kick it with me and he has these toys that like you see, he won't stop going crazy over. I feel like every time I go to the store, I have to buy him a toy just to see his reaction in his face. It's like, you know, it's so happy, it's so joyous. Boss is a master destructor, destroyer, whatever you want to call it, of toys. Look at this right here. 
You see this? He doesn't appreciate. See this ball? He deflated it. He killed that one too. He doesn't appreciate his toys. We have made it to what I think, matter of fact, I know is Boss's favorite room in this whole entire house. The studio. Every time I'm in here recording music, Boss is either right there, up under the desk, or he's in the booth while I'm, while I'm in the booth recording. He's a studio rat, and I like that. My dog is a studio rat. You can't ask for that, you know what I'm saying? Some dogs don't like to sit in the studio, but he understands music. We actually finna release his album real soon. It's called uh, Boss of All Bosses. So sometimes he be getting on the track. Go ahead, you see that's why he got the chain on, cause he about to do his promo shoot soon. <laughs> Classic ad-libs. Let me charge 10,000 to ad-lib. Come talk to us when the album drop, baby. Oh, I tried to find my way out of here. I don't know where I'm going, but I keep my head up. You know what I'm saying? Look at him, just post it, just post it right there. Okay. So now it's time for Tricks for Charity, and myself, and more importantly, Boss, wants to make a donation to the Tailwaggers Foundation, courtesy of Boss. He chose that one. And so now, we're gonna do some tricks for charity. Let's get it, baby. Come here. All right. Give me paw. Nope, give me paw. Good boy. Lay. Good boy. Ah. Roll over. <laughs> you gotta roll over all the way. You gotta wait till I tell you. Lay. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy. More coming soon, but that's where we are right now, okay? Yo, man, so we appreciate y'all for coming into our crib and spending the day with us and seeing how Boss, Boss the Boss lives, the biggest boss on earth. Before y'all get up out of the crib, I want y'all to go follow me. Go follow me and Boss, because his life is my life. Go to at It's Algie on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok, It's Algie Smith. Check me out on Twitter, at It's Algie. Check me out on YouTube, Algie Smith. Check out my new music coming soon, baby. We coming with the real R&B, real vulnerability. Cause, Cause don't nobody wanna be vulnerable right now. We gonna do it. We are gonna sing to these women. So check it out, coming real soon. And uh, Boss got a reality show coming real soon too. So be on the lookout for that. <laughs>